What is up, folks? First thing, gaming. We are back in seven days at iMods Week of the show. We'll figure out what mods are good for you. And this week, we have an easy week ahead of us. We're going to cover some super simple mods. But before we jump into anything, I want to say thank you, mod authors, because you guys keep coming up with super cool, awesome works. It's really cool to see what you guys do. And also, thank you, Kuna members, because the support you guys give us does mean the world to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for that. But now we're going to jump to the mods. And the first mod is Useful Tires by Gookie, which is based on the works of Ragsy2145. And it's a super simple server side mod that gives you something nice. When we come here and we chop these tires, we're going to get a resource. And you guys see it pop up down there called, come in here, scrap rubber. So it's really cool to see when we cut these tires. The reason why it pops up like this, and the reason why I like it is because with these scrap tires, we can actually come here and make a wheel once we get our vehicle to level five. We can take some scrap rubber some forged iron oil and coal which is all resources you'll get very easily and we can use them to make tires it's a lot easier than trying to make a tire normally but i will say in alpha 21 i've not really been having too much of a time finding tires but if you're one of those people who has been this is a great mod for you because vehicle level five is super easy to get and so are all the resources to craft this you'll have all of these in spades before too long anyway so it just makes it really easy to be able to go ahead and craft some tires with this as opposed to trying to get acid and all that other stuff which you may or may not be able to find easily to be able to craft tires this is a good way to circumvent that it's a fantastic server side mod for that but with that we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next mod all right folks so this next mod is sam's working stuff by Saminal, and this is just a fantastic little server side mod that gives you some really cool working items that you can place around your base and there are two versions there's one version without sinks and there's one version with sinks now i'm going to preface this and say that the version i've been playing with with sinks has been having some kind of an error i have not been able to fix no matter how much i've been troubleshooting and playing around with it so i'll show you what i'm talking about in a little bit just be mindful of that though but the version without sync still gives you some really cool, uh, really cool options to play with. We have a working modern stove, a working wall oven, a working gas grill, and a working charcoal grill that we can play around with. We also get, if we come in here and we type in working, we get some cool lights that we can play with. And if we look at these lights, we can have different kinds of lights that we can hook up and play with. We can have an open sign. We can have an industrial light bulb, just a lot of really nice little lights. I like the chandelier and the ceiling fan, honestly. They look the best. If the ceiling fan spun, it'd be even better. But it's just really nice to be able to see that you can have different kinds of lights that you can put up places. So if you you know want to have a light like this on a dresser, you can, and it'll work once you hook power up to it. It's just really nice to see. But then now I'm going to talk about the sinks. So we've got two sinks here. We've got this sink version here, which acts as kind of a normal dew collector that produces murky water once every 10-ish minutes or so in game. However, I've noticed an issue where for whatever reason, these show up red and I don't know why they, they show up red like that. And it seems like they don't want to produce water, but then they will. I'm not sure what's going on with that. And then this one produces clean drinking water because it acts like you see sink with filter so we have clean drinking water and again they show up red like this and i'm not sure why but it acts like they're not doing anything but eventually you'll come back and you'll see them having produced water and i don't i don't understand why i, I don't know if they just they don't work when you're here or what but it's it's just weird to see like that so if you guys know why it's doing that or mod author if you see this let me know but it, it does seem to be working and it is a fantastic mod especially being able to get the the clean drinking water as opposed to the murky water but with that we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next mod all right folks so this next mod is the scrap weapons and tools by the script hd and it's just a fantastic little mod that puts in a, a tier of weapons and tools between stone or wood and iron and it's something that I feel should have been in the game for a long time because they are just a fantastic little, you know, resource that you can play with. And if we type in scrap, they're super easy to unlock and they're super easy to craft. The resources are not super intensive, but it's just nice to be able to see that we can do these things. And if we look at the scrap axe here, it says we need to have harvesting tools level three, minor 69er, but really don't. Blades for the knife, level two of three, harvesting tools, you know, and it's like that for all of them. It's whatever the item is, 
level three, you can start crafting these scrap items. And it works really good because like, see, I have a wooden club here and a level three scrap iron club. Well, we can't craft a level six wooden club. You might get lucky and loot one, but by the time you can craft this level three scrap club, it is better than a level six wooden club, which it should be. And that's why I like this because it gives you a nice little sense of progression before you start getting into the iron tools without having to slog through a whole bunch of stuff. And they do look fairly nice too. We've got this guy coming up, but I'm gonna take some time and just kind of pan around and you can see that they do look really nice just the way that they're held in, held in the character's hands. And we're gonna poke this dude in the head. Okay, he's gonna go over there. But they look really nice to hold and they're functionally and everything, they're, they're pretty nice. I just I, I like seeing these things I like I like the idea of scrap weapons and tools like this that you know should really have been in the game from the beginning but aren't and mods like this that fix that uh, deficiency but with that folks we're gonna go ahead and move over to the last mod all right folks so this last mod is the super cool early game crafting base by the stain gaming and it is unfortunately not a spawnable in naturally poi you have to put it in yourself but it's just really nice to have it's really cool to see because you have this awesome poi that you can easily turn into a home base or a horde base i wouldn't turn it into a horde base because the whole thing is made out of wood so if you wanted to turn this into a horde base, you would have to upgrade it from wood to cobblestone and and stone and steel and all that good stuff. And it's just, it's not worth it. But you see, we have a nice big open area here with two little wings on the sides where we could put workbenches. And it's the same on either side. We can put workbenches and stuff like that. And then out here we have, like in the other place we were at, we have a little kitchen area where you see it says campfire here and stuff. We have plenty of storage here. We have a little area here where if you had a bucket, throw some water down to be able to get water. You can put your um, dew collectors and stuff out here. And then we come up these stairs here and we have an area that you can turn into either a crafting area or a living area or however you wanted to do anything. You have a little balcony here you can hang out with and do stuff. Oh, there's a plug that was right there. I guess it fell. Uh, but again, you know, over here on the same side, you have the exact same thing where you could put just whatever you wanted. And if we come out here and climb up a ladder, we have an area you can either make, oops, almost fell in the hole. You have an area you can either make your live-in area or storage or however you wanted to do it. But it's just all in all, it's a nice little POI that gives an early game place to call home, have everything you want and everything you need. And depending upon where you place it in, in a map, like if you place it here, like I've done at the crossroads, you have plenty of room to be able to store vehicles and stuff like that. And if you put down some steps here, you can easily make this be the area that you, you know, get in and out. You could even put a hatch or something there to block zombies from getting in, which, you know, wouldn't be too bad. I don't think, but with that, folks, we are done for the week. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you had fun. If you liked the episode, go ahead, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But have fun, take it easy, and we will see you next time.